didn't it? It said the time will come. Perilous times is what they call it. It said it will come when people will not be able to what? Endure. Endure. Sit through. Stay attached to sound doctrine. But they'll go find what they want to hear and be put themselves there. But, um, yeah, we're just going to keep going. I appreciate y'all. This has been, man, when I look back over 2020, it's been amazing. Has 2020 been amazing? You know, it was, I guess somebody found it. I did a message last year called Hating What God Hates. And at the one hour mark of that message, I did it in November, I think, of last year, or something like that, at the one hour mark of that message, I said that 2020 was going to be the worst year that we've ever seen. And I, y'all remember that? Because I felt like God had shared that with me. We didn't know what to expect. So we do what churches do. We fast and pray. And uh, yeah, and here we are. Amen. So I'm not going to just keep rambling, but I'm trying to keep from crying. But amen. Thank y'all so much. Y'all didn't have to do that. And I don't ask them to do that. I don't ask them to do that. The elder comes to me and says, hey, I need to talk to the men. And they put me out the room. I have no idea what they're doing, how they're doing it, because I just don't do it for that reason. But I thank God that you guys are gifters. And y'all understand to sow in the ministry that is feeding you. Because that's very, very important for you. Amen? I'm going to be blessed either way. Because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. But when you do what you're supposed to do, God will see you through. Amen? And this is the time to start investing and getting something in the heavenly bank. Because 2021, you're going to need to make a withdrawal. So you need to, like the old folks say, send up them timbers now. Amen? Amen? So, uh, yeah, things are only going to get worse. But we are believers in Christ. That's why we all in here right now without masks and no social distancing. Because we trust the power of the God that we serve. I'm not going to serve God for 30 years and then a flu comes and all of a sudden I don't believe anymore. I'm not going to see God heal me of appendicitis. Where my appendix was, appendix was about to rupture, and they begged my dad to take it out. And my daddy said, no, I believe in the power of prayer. He told the doctor. He said, I believe in the power of prayer. And he came in my room, and he told me, in seven days, son, seven days, the Lord told me that your appendix is going to go back to normal. I still have it right now because I believe in the power of what? Of prayer. Either we're going to believe in the power of prayer or we're not. We're going to all be a bunch of hypocrites sitting up here scared of something. Or we're going to be born again believers that don't have the spirit of fear. But the spirit, the power, and the love, and the what? The sound mind. Amen. Well, that's what I believe. I hope y'all believe it too. Amen. A bunch of folks sick right now. But a bunch of folks was sick last year. And it wasn't no COVID. My daughter, well, she wasn't able to make it because she ain't feeling good. Well, last year she was sick too. Ain't no COVID. Everything ain't COVID. Quit letting them test you for every time you have what you've been having for the last 10 years. All of a sudden, you need a test to tell you what it is. Amen. I preach today. I'm supposed to be off. Y'all need to hear this because every week some of y'all get scared again. Once you talk to your mama and your daddy upstate. Girl, what? I hear your voice real clear. You don't have on no mask? Mama, I'm in the car. Oh, it's in the car too. Well, they have air filters. That's what filters are for. Lord have mercy. Yeah, it got the church punking out right now where the folks need the born again believers, the fire of the Holy Ghost, because we got a 600% rise in suicide calls. Where is the church? 
Our country has never seen this high of a suicide rate. Everyone in here just about knows somebody that killed themselves. And that's a bad statistic. Children, folks killing themselves. You know why? Because churches are closed. And the folks that said that the power of God could fix this are nowhere to be found. The folks that preached the gospel all these years and laid hands, what, you laid hands on? Why didn't you lay hands on them? Because you believed in the prayer of faith? Where are those hands at? Where is that faith at? Where is that Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. I don't care. Amen. Well, thank y'all for the gift. Amen. Anyway, I didn't come to preach today. Oh, but I thank God we're going to have us just a, a good old musical time. Amen. And we're going to worship God in here. We're going to thank him that we're not sick. And whoever else is sick, we're going to thank them for their healing. Amen. Amen. Well, let me say this. Turn the music off. Stop playing. I ain't ready yet. Look, <laughs> look, let me tell y'all this, y'all. This uh, but let me tell you this. You know, when they first started this pandemic, it was about deaths. The only way you can scare folks is deaths. Like, you can't tell us you're going to catch something and make us scared. If we're not scared, we're going to die. Right? So they start attributing every death. Folk get hit by a train, death, COVID, as a COVID death. After we tested him, he tested positive. <laughs> Fell off a building, he tested positive. <laughs> so they, were, they had everyone afraid of death. But y'all know how long ago that was? Like it's been five months later and there's no death rate. So now they're just scaring people with testing positive. People are... So you go get tested. Man, I tested positive. So I got to go quarantine with no symptoms because I tested positive. Okay, so what happens when you test positive? Well, there's a 99% chance that you're going to get better. That's a point zero 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 one death rate. Better than the flu. Better. Like better than the flu. Got doctors right in here. They'll tell you. Better than the flu. What you scared of again? You don't want to test positive. Why you don't want to test positive? I test positive if I ain't going to die. I ain't scared of no positive test. You stick something in my nose, ain't no telling what you gonna find. And the doctor will sit here and tell you that that's where snot and mucus build up is anyway. So everything you breathe in is stuck up in there. If you stick the right thing in there and test for the right particles, you gonna find you gonna test positive for everything. Because you're breathing everything. So what are we afraid? Look at somebody and say, what you scared of again? Don't you know that this is the new world order? Don't you understand that they're trying to make us a globalist society and take away our American freedoms? And a part of those is Christian beliefs, religious beliefs. Y'all can say what y'all want to about Trump, but Trump had a good idea by appointing that one Supreme Court justice. Because that one Supreme Court justice ruled in favor of religious gatherings. And we won it five to four. So you better praise God for Trump right now. I don't know what he doing right now. He might be drunk somewhere. But thank God uh, for Trump's appointment. I'm just glad. You know, I don't side with any one of them. I just need the one that's going to help us. I don't care about the rest of the stuff. I need to be able to come in here and fellowship with my brothers and sisters. So I don't need nobody trying to break up the power of the gathering of the saints obviously there's power in the gathering that's when the Holy Ghost fell when they gathered that's when the lame walked when they gathered that's when the sick was delivered when they gathered so I need somebody that want to gather I don't care who passed the rule. I don't care who's in charge of it. Just let us gather. Look at somebody say, I'm going to gather. Because there's power in the fellowship. All right, y'all. We got guests. Oh, but I feel it. 
Look at somebody say there's power in the gathering. I mean, how you gonna wait till the end times to get scared? Look at somebody say, I don't have the spirit of fear, but I got love, power, and a sound mind. Wait till the end times. You gonna wait till the end of the end times to sit down on the Lord? and be afraid and lock up in your house but you was talking all that noise with no adversity now the devil is after you and you are gonna get quiet this is the time we need to praise God this is the time we need to show what we've been talking about Amen. Let them come try to shut this church down. You know, the last time we were, we were cordial. Oh, but this time there's going to be fire. You try to shut us down this time, you're going to have to lock me up. Because I'm going to be at the gathering of the saints. All right, y'all, sit down. Sit down. I don't know what time y'all think this is, man. I mean, everything else has just been a rehearsal. We've just been practicing for the end times. 2021? When they come try to give you that vaccine, that's all this, that's what this is about. They ain't injecting nothing in me. I told them I got the Holy Ghost. You ain't got to put nothing in me. I got the Holy Ghost flowing through my veins. Bro, I don't need no vaccine. And a vaccine over something that don't even have a high death percentage? That's ridiculous, dude. Leave me alone. Give me three days and some orange juice. I'll be okay. Crazy. Just. All right. What time? Okay. Well. I'm sorry y'all because you know y'all don't understand yeah yeah let me tell you something when you take the stand that we've taken as Adam and Believers Council and we upload it every week everybody see everybody in here folk in the overflow no mask no social distance so you can only imagine you can only imagine what folks are saying but there is a great percentage of preachers that just didn't have the courage to do it because they were around some other preachers that was afraid but then they see it and it sparks something and it ignites something in them. You see what I'm saying? And that's what the devil don't like. He don't care about the folk talking about us. He just don't want us to be an influence. Because we've been in here five months and ain't nobody died of COVID. So we are, we are walking statistic. We're walking statistical evidence that somebody is lying. Look at somebody say somebody's lying. Somebody just making up a bunch of foolishness trying to close and shut down the church. Got the strip clubs open, but going to shut the church down. Got the, uh, the booze place open, but going to shut the church down. The pool hall. The domino shack. <laughs> but going to shut the church down? No, bruh. No, no, no. Anyway, y'all sit down. I ain't going down that quiet. Amen. Don't y'all believe there's power in the gathering of the saints? We got all kinds of biblical proof. The church isn't dead. The church age isn't over. No, when they tried to shut the church age down in the Bible, they went and met in houses. Uh, they met underground everywhere. Amen. I mean, and it ain't yours to shut down. You be telling me what to do in the church, Cuomo. You better go worry about your house. This is not yours to shut down. We don't belong to the state. We're not 501c3. You can't tell us nothing. You can't even check what kind of money we dealing with. You can't look at our bank accounts. You don't own no part of ABC or EX Ministries, so get somewhere and...
I knew this was coming. I knew it was coming, Jermaine. When I started the church, I knew they were going to do it. That's why I didn't do 501c3. I told the church when we started. We're not doing that because the day is going to come when they're going to try to shut the church down. I said that eight years ago. But we don't belong to them. Amen. 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 Take the building, we'd be outside. We've already done that. We did that. And they politely asked us, will y'all please go back in? Y'all are getting the neighborhood saved. The church is growing. You're making too much noise. It's just too big of a witness. Folks pulling off the freeway, parking out here trying to hear the gospel. Why don't y'all just go on in? Go back on inside because you're doing too much damage out here. Yeah, put us out again. We got more speakers every week. Every week there was new speakers. We had new speakers pointed somewhere. Drones flying. Yeah, leave us out there. Watch what happens. Some of y'all in there right now came from the outdoor service. Drove by and felt the anointing in the parking lot. All right, y'all sit down. What am I doing? We got guests. But I'm saying, man, y'all, sometimes I need to say it, Cameron. I need to see. Folks try to make you think something's wrong with you. Because you standing for what we've been preaching for the last 30 years. Ain't nothing wrong with me, man. It's written in the book. I'm supposed to have faith. Without faith, I can't please God. And if I come to him, I must first believe he is who he says he is. Is he a healer? I got to believe that. If that's what he is. Is he still a, a healer? Is he still a healer? All right, y'all, sit down. This, that's it. I'm sorry. Amen. But remember your brothers and sisters that aren't feeling well, that down, you know, sickness, whatever, they'll get past it. Some of y'all was sick last week, and you good now. Anybody was sick? Anybody tested positive and was sick, and now you okay? See that? Look at that. Folk, folk test. Look, don't let me go backwards. Uh, we continue to pray for folks. Amen. And, uh, and make sure you're doing your due diligence. I preached that last week. Make sure. You, I know this is sugar. You got past Thanksgiving. Yeah. Amen. And so put the cranberry gel up. That's not cranberry sauce. That's cranberry gelatin. There's a big difference when it freezes in the shape of the can. That means ain't nothing good in it. It's like the flesh. No good thing dwelleth in it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it ain't nothing good, is it that? Don't try to tear the don't try to tear the wrap off around it. It's still the same substance, isn't that? <laughs> try to disguise the can. It don't change the ingredients. That's gelatin. Something other than cranberry is making it take that form. That's something other than cranberry. <laughs> so you got past Thanksgiving, you had it, I ate some too. I cut the jelly. You know, you slice it like bread. I slice me a few slices off of that gelatin. <laughs> but I know I can't eat that way every day. Amen. Can't carry a can in my purse or your, or your backpack. So Thanksgiving came. You passed it. You ate your sweets and all that. Monday, you need to be trying to look for Landon or some of these other folks that'll work you out. P31 workout Mondays and Fridays. Come on in there. Amen. Get that gelatin off of you. You know you can see it on your body. Get that gel shape off you. <laughs> but do your due diligence. Ain't no need of us praying for healing and we eating like bears. Amen. Get before the Lord coughing up stuff and coughing up macaroni and cheese. Oh, Lord. Rebuke COVID in the, oh, in the name of Jesus. 
<laughs> Bring COVID. <laughs> Ain't no COVID, that's craft. <laughs> Amen. So do your due diligence. Eat, you know, this week needs to be a good eating week. Eat good this week. Get you some sleep. Amen. If you can't sleep, rebuke the devil. Read the scriptures that talk about slumber. Because that's the number one way for you to get unhealthy is missing sleep. Amen. Jesus went to sleep. The whole boat was about to capsize and flip over. And Jesus was down there doing what? Sleeping because he knew he had to deal with a demon when he got off the boat. He had to deal with the demon the, the demon boy with the legion. So he was preparing his body. Amen. Some of y'all live with legion. You married legion. Your wedding ring just starts turning red every now and then. So you need to make sure you get some rest because you got to deal with legion. I turned anything into a sermon. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so you, you never know. You need to rest, prepare, prepare your body with rest, prepare your body with food, drink a lot of water, and cut the sugar. Amen? Sugar day was Thursday. Let's cut the sugar. Amen? Amen. Left how, what is the legal limit of leftovers? How long are they supposed to last? Four days? Three? Four? Four days? Two days? No, nah, not no two days. I had that dressing yesterday. That's, that's, <laughs> I know it's not two days. But whatever it is, y'all need to make sure y'all do right by your bodies so that your bodies will treat you right. Amen? So when you pray before God, you can pray in a good conscience and not hear him laughing in the background. Y'all know how he does. He will laugh at you. This is ridiculous what you are praying because you did the fool. So make sure you are taking care of yourself, especially if you have sick people at home. Keep them away from sugar. Amen? Keep them away from sugar. 